G'day, I'm Joel. I'm a personal trainer from Bondi Beach, Australia. And in March 2020, I had a tumour removed from my brain. I created this YouTube channel to bring motivation, support and insights to anyone going through a brain surgery journey of their own. I would love to help as many patients and their families as possible. If what I'm saying is helpful, please like and subscribe. G'day guys, I just want to premise this video by saying I am not a nutritionist or a dietitian, but I do get dozens of people on my YouTube comments and in the DMs of both my Facebook and my Instagram asking me what to eat when recovering from brain surgery. Uh, as a personal trainer, there's so many paths I could choose to go down here, but I wanna, what I wanna do is to keep it super simple. Eat what makes you feel good. For me, what makes me feel good is when I eat single ingredient foods. So what that means is, for example, there's one ingredient, an avocado, that's one ingredient. But a guacamole, I buy in a packet at a supermarket has multiple different ingredients and therefore isn't a single ingredient food. I'm not demonizing that guacamole, I'm not saying it's bad for you, but I find my body functions and feels better when I eat more and more and fill myself with more and more single ingredient foods. So what that looks like is any form of meat, fish, beef, chicken, etc 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 as well as vegetables so potato sweet potato pumpkin eggplant zucchini capsicum i know capsicum's technically a fruit but i also eat fruits as well i love berries i love anything that is a single ingredient it just makes me feel better don't get me wrong just because i'm a personal trainer doesn't mean i'm a saint I also love chocolate, I love pizza, I love nachos, but I find if they make up the majority of my diet, I start to feel less energized, I feel more lethargic, I have no motivation, I don't wanna shoot these videos, I don't wanna to go to work. I've just had a baby boy, he's now 13 months, I need to be on the clock all the time. He's growing, he's running around, He's sleeping, he's waking, he's doing what he wants when he wants. And I need to be both physically and mentally on when he is. So what I try to do is the majority of the time, fill my diet with highly nutritious and single ingredient foods. So breakfast for me can look like yogurt with nuts and berries. It can also look like an omelet or just some fried eggs with some avocado and tomato. Lunch can look like a salad. I'll take a protein like a chicken or a beef or a fish and I'll chuck it in with some lettuce, some spinach, some cucumber, some tomato. And again, guys, I don't demonize anything that is not only a single ingredient product. So I like to put some cheese in on my salad and obviously cheese isn't a single ingredient. It is a processed food. Um, Dinner looks like a, a protein and some veg or a protein and some salad. I keep it super simple. But again, if I want chocolate, I'm going to have it. I spent three months without being able to eat a single piece of food. So if I want something, I am going to eat it. But I know if I eat too much junk, and we all know what junk is. Uh, junk is things that have processed like hot dogs, ice cream, donuts, chocolate, chips, so on and so forth. If my diet starts to be heavily loaded with foods like that, I feel tired. I want to feel vibrant and energized. And I, I can't see why anyone doesn't want to feel that way. So I'm not telling anyone how to eat or what to eat or demonizing any form of food. I'm just telling you what I eat to feel better. And that is just simple, basic, nutritious easy to find, easy to eat, single ingredient foods. Dozens and dozens and dozens, actually millions of people every day type into Google, what's the best food? Trust me, I'm a personal trainer and all my clients used to do this. 
What's the best food for fat loss? What's a good food to eat? Yada, yada, yada. It's simple, guys. We all know how to eat healthily. We all know what junk is. We all know that eating a fruit salad versus a cake is going to heavily influence our hormones and our fatigue levels. One may taste better than the other, but if you want to be less lethargic and more energized, especially when you're recovering from brain surgery, when you are undoubtedly more fatigued anyway, I highly recommend you eat foods that make you feel good. This can be trial and error. You might have foods that you're allergic to or you have intolerances to. So I would recommend not eating those. If you eat a food and realize that you're more tired, maybe eliminate that for a few weeks and see how you feel and just eat more of the ones that make you feel good and vibrant and energized. And again, guys, for me, that is nice, fresh, single ingredient foods like meats, vegetables, fish, and fruit. And I do love my eggs. But I also like jamming in my, my little treats, guys. So I never stray from chocolate um, and, I, and I do eat what I want when I want. But as long as the majority of them are, are fresh and nutrient-dense single-use foods. Guys, I'm not going to bore you anymore. Keep it simple. If the foods make you feel good, continue eating them. Because priority number one, as someone recovering from brain surgery, you want to fuel your energy and not be fatigued because the brain surgery and the trauma that your brain just went through will make you fatigued regardless. So you need to combat that with some good nutrition. Guys, I'd love to hear your nutrition tips. Um, I'd like to hear what you think about my advice. Again, it's just insights and information I'm sharing. It's not me telling you what to eat because I'm not a nutritionist. But any hacks, ideas, uh, recipes you got, chuck them in the comments below and hit that thumbs up for me. I greatly appreciate it because I want to help as many people as possible. Alrighty, guys. Peace.